What's up Mets fans? Welcome back to the channel and yes we have two videos out basically at the same time so if you haven't checked out the other one on Rich Hill make sure you do just that guys. Normally I don't put videos out at the same time like this but as I was editing the other video I had a report here as you guys can see from Anthony Decomo for the New York Mets how the Mets are showing interest in ultra utility man in Marlon Gonzalez. So we got to talk about him right because he's another great ad and I would love to see him land with the Mets. So that's what exactly what you will be doing here taking a look at Marlon Gonzalez and his game everything there is to know about him, the current connection with the Mets along with other suitors and why he would be such a strong fit for the Mets should they land him in this MLB free agency and everything in between. So as always guys, make sure you stay all the way until the end of the video for all the deets and all my thoughts on Marlon Gonzalez and his connection with the Mets. And if you ended up enjoying this kind of Mets content and want to see more great Mets content like this, make sure to smash that like and subscribe button, share this video with your friends, put on the notification bell, all those great things. Thank you all so much for the countless support. Help us get a 4,000 subscribers guys, really mean a lot, but enough of me talking let's get right into this video here we have 31 year old ultra utility player playing six positions the past two seasons and has played seven throughout his career that being in marwin gonzalez the switch hitter at the plate and a ready with the glove at 6'1 205 pounds in the 2020 short season had a down year offensively but still was stellar defensively in multiple aspects and 53 games played with the minnesota twins only had five home runs 22 rbis a 211 by an average a 286 on base percentage a 320 slugging a 606 ops in 2019 however had far better numbers in 114 games played with the twins had 15 home runs 55 rbis a 264 average 322 on base percentage 414 slugging at 736 ops and throughout his career 962 game played and 3066 at bats has racked up 96 career home runs 369 rbis 200 uh, 261 career batting average a 317 on base percentage 413 slugging at 729 ops so guys, just gave my initial reaction to this as I see Anthony Decomo come out with this stellar tweet how the Mets have been showing interest in him. I'm in absolute love with this idea. I get it, this isn't the blockbuster type player maybe us Mets fans are looking for, but I do think the Mets do have plenty of options as we know and are still going to add big names and smaller names this offseason. And Marwan Gonzalez really stands out as that ultra utility guy, especially that Kike Hernandez is out of the pitcher and decided to go with the Red Sox knowing that he can get upwards of 500 at bats and really be an everyday player there. That's what he wanted but Marlon Gonzalez is the perfect guy off the bench another guy that can help you tremendously and having a winning type caliber a World Series type caliber for a team that is so unbelievably deep both offensively and defensively and having a great bench with Marlon Gonzalez being a crucial part of it and really being in any situation is stellar he's a guy that can play has been more known for playing third base he's labeled by MLB.com as being a third baseman but he can play short he can play second he can play first he can be left center right for the most part this guy does it all and as I said has played six positions over the past two years like are you joking and if you look at him when he's normally accustomed to here's a tweet here from tim Ryder, which i thought was very important former writer for mets Marais, but is currently a writing free agent i hope he gets a, a new position soon because he's a great guy huge mets fan and a great writer as well so shout out to him i just wanted to do that but a great tweet here tweet here indicating how marwin is more comfortably known for smashing fastballs as you can see with that 307 average but in 2019 and also had really strong stuff this past year against off speed stuff as well so if you look at Marwin, he has been a guy that the bat was a little cold to say the least in the short 2020 season, but has plenty of potential to really just be that ultra utility guy the Mets need to, to help them out both defensively in any which way can help out in the outfield, especially if there's no DH and the Mets are trying to figure out what do they want to do in the left. Marwin can handle left as a guy I would feel a lot more comfortable with even over guys like JD Davis and Dom. And then you figure out what you do with those guys as well. So I do believe the Mets are going to make plenty of moves this offseason. I do believe a trade package could very well be on its way even if they even if they don't land Trevor Bauer to an extent I do believe that a significant trade is still going to happen I think they're going to go over the luxury tax I think they're going to add as much depth as they can along with really rounding out this roster as guys like Marlon Gonzalez that brings so much to the table for you both on a defensive front and just overall depth front that would be huge for them he would be amazing off the bench for the Mets and as a guy that you can bank on really any given night to come in the lineup and basically be in any position outside of the starting pitching bullpen and you know catching and he's He's going to do a very solid job for you definitely above average defensively in a lot of different ways just a stellar pickup it would be for the Mets I really hope they land him the same way I was ecstatic about Kike Hernandez unfortunately the Mets just weren't the front runner there and there is no indication that the Mets are the front runner here but they should definitely be showing interest so I'm glad they are Marlon Gonzalez a utility man really a perfect spot in Queens if you ask me for the Mets so as always guys make sure to let me know your thoughts and comments below how do you feel about Marlon Gonzalez the ultra utility guy a guy you could probably get on a decent contract I would 
say anywhere between three, uh, two to four years, a good AEV, a guy that's not going to be overly expensive, really just adding depth to this lineup, but a huge upgrade um, at certain positions as well. And it really gives some more flexibility with, with how they address the third base position, how they address the outfield still. That's a lot of the things that are going into the factors. If you ask me with the Mets and their decision making, whether they're going to part ways with JD or possibly Nemo among some others for a bigger type deal. I don't know, but they are making depth moves and I love to see it. And it could be telling that maybe something bigger is going to be happening sooner rather than later. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. As always, guys, check out my previous video right around the same time as this one, as this came out. If you haven't already, make sure to stay tuned for our live stream tonight, right around 8 p.m. Eastern time, expanding more on all the latest fronts with the Mets and their news and the players that they have shown interest in, including, yes, Rich Hill and Marlon Gonzalez, among plenty of others. But thank you again, guys. It means a lot. Hit like and subscribe, all those great things, and I'll talk to you soon.